It is I, your boy, Octa Cruel, or you may call me Chris, and I'm here today with my brother. Hello, it's me, Curtis, or as some of you would like to call me, uh, Chubby Rain. Chubby Rain, if you know, you know, and if you don't know, well, I guess you just don't know. But today we're going to be watching The Usual Suspects. This is a movie I've actually been wanting to watch for a long time. Like, it's been on Netflix, and I always see it, I'm like, man, I kind of want to watch that, but I'm like... But it's good to react to for the YouTube channel. It's like, nah, I won't do it. But now we finally get to watch it. I've heard a lot about it. How about you? Have you heard the movie? Nope. Nope. I told you to decide on what movies this week, and you picked that movie, and then you told me I've never heard of it. Of course I have. I hate this guy, okay? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. You're making me look bad. It's just how I do it, man. Yeah, I know. I'm used to it now. But uh, anyways, that's what we're watching today. The Patreon decided on it. We love you guys. The amount of support we've been getting is insane. Yes, thank you, beautiful people. Thank you, because we've hit 8,000 subscribers. And like, uh, I feel like it was just like a couple of days ago. I was thanking for 7,000. Like, this stuff is going really fast, man. I can't keep up. Woo. Like, damn, thank you. I, we, we, I appreciate it. I, I truly do. Oh, my God. But anyways, guys, we're going to get right into the movie or I'll keep rambling and never shut up like I usually do. True true but we're gonna be watching usual the usual suspects okay god damn it we're gonna be watching WWE's right oh now oh now all right that's one way to like the siggy huh <gasps> bro Extinguished. Wait, what? He pissed on it? Precision and timing. Dude, if that were me, I'd have been like, ah! <laughs> oh my god. I barely hit the bull. <laughs> what bull? <laughs> I hate when I hold the gun sideways. Oh. Oh, wait, he's at. Wait, what? So he just wanted to shoot him. He wanted to have the pleasure of killing him, and now he's like, all right, the boat can go boom. It's cool now. Okay, you know, to each their own. Whoa. True, it doesn't take much. Mr. McManus, we have a warrant for your arrest. <laughs> Fuck you, pig. <laughs> What? Who wants to know? New York Police Department. Get. Police! Hold it! You brought enough guys? Damn. Reaching under the car like that, man? God. He's lucky he didn't get blown to pieces. Dude, he looks so sketchy! <laughs> yeah. It's quite simple, really. A restaurant that changes with taste. Oh, man, this without losing horrible. the overall aesthetic. Oh, my In other God. Words, well, let me give you an example. This I had to see for myself. I'm in a meeting. Time for another one. Dude, he didn't get to you finish his food either. Come, come on. Good. What is that, rice? I got some rice. I can see this. It's probably risotto. This is a small problem. Enjoy the meal. I'll talk to you later. What a cool guy. He gets arrested and pays for the meal. Hand me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> Number two, step forward. Give me the fucking keys, you fucking cocksucker, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> what? Number three, step forward. Oh my god. <laughs> Hand me the keys, you cocksucker. <laughs> what was that? Excuse me. Hand me the fucking keys, you cocksucker. What the fuck? Number four, step forward. Hand me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. Hand me the keys, you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> this has really got to be embarrassing for you guys, huh? They went after McManus first. Top-notch entry man. What truck? The truck with the guns, fucko. Fucko. <laughs> what are you saying? I say he'll flip you. He'll what? Flip you. Flip you for real. Yeah, I'm shaking. Come on. <laughs> okay. Answer my question. You hit me in the back. I want my lawyer. 
I'm gonna have your fucking badge, cocksucker. <laughs> Todd Hockney. Good with explosives. Without a doubt, the one guy who didn't give a fuck about anybody. I put you in Queens on the night of the hijack. I live in Queens. Did you put that together yourself, Einstein? <laughs> we got a team of monkeys working around the clock on this. You know what happens Damn. if you do another turn in the joint? Fuck your father in the shower and then have a snack. You're gonna die. <laughs> Did you ever stop to ask me? I mean, I've been walking around with the same face, the same, the, the same name. I'm a businessman. From now on, you're in the getting fucked by us business. Like I said, it was your mistake. Oh, oh. what? I uh, really, 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 so I do something about this shit. I ain't gonna hold it every five minutes. You know, it treat me like a criminal. I end up a criminal. You are a criminal. And what you gotta go and do that? <laughs> Trying to make a point. <laughs> Why don't you make your point? <laughs> Fuck who did it. What I want to know is who's the gimp. He's okay. Says you. How do I know that? What about a pretzel man? What's your story? His name is Verbal. Oh, pretzel man? Verbal Kent. People say I talk too much. Yeah, I was just going to tell you to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> in county, I was in for fraud. You were in the lineup then, too. So now I'd like to exercise my right to free assembly. Why don't you just shut up? I don't care about your job. I want nothing to do with it. And that was how it started. The five of us being brought in on a trumped up charge to be leaned on by halfwits. Whoa. Oh, that's the, the place? God Who are you? damn. Agent Jack Bayer, FBI. How many dead? 15 so far. They're still pulling some bodies out of the water though. 15? The DA Wait. Has a second guy, a uh, cripple from New York, I think. Listen, the chief wants this place sealed off. If you have any questions, give him a call. That's Giancarlo. Hey. Why can't I see you? Dave, I told you. The DA came down here last night ready to arraign even before they moved into county, okay? Well, did they charge him with anything? Yeah, weapons. Misdemeanor, too. What is that? Listen. I give the DA credit for getting that much, you understand? Excuse me, sir. Well, I gotta see him, Jeffrey. Dave, no, I can't. Listen, you gotta do this for me. I came a long way for this. Dave, please. But there's a lot more to his story, believe me. Jeffrey, look, I want to know why. 27 men died on that pier. 27 now? That's a million big number. Worth of dope that wasn't there. Oh. Oh, my God. He has burns over 60% of his body, a number of his ribs are broken. Call hospital security, get a man put on the door to the police get here. Is he dangerous? Yes. Do it. 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 Do I want to ask you a few questions before you go. But I'd like to start mm. at the lineup back in New York. Can I get some coffee? I'm really thirsty. I used to dehydrate as a kid. But one time it got so bad my piss come out like snot. I'm not kidding. It was not <laughs> what food. the hell? Like it snot. Too you're at it. That's just disgusting. Oh, man. I used to be in a barbershop quartet in Skokie, Illinois. The baritone was this guy named Kip Diskin. Big fat guy. I mean, like orca fat. He was so stressed in the morning, you know. Verbal, you know we're bad. I just want to hear your story. It's all there. Let me get right to the point. Damn. I'm smarter than you, and I'm going to find out what I want to know. And I'm going to get it from you whether you like it or not. I'm not a rat. Back when I was picking beans in Guatemala, we used to make fresh coffee. Right off the trees, I mean. That was good. This is shit, but hey. Let's <laughs> get started again. Now, oh, what man. happened after the lineup? Uh, nothing like some shit coffee. Dude, they can't break that guy. They ruined me in there tonight. Oh man. He's gonna get back in the game, I dude. Love you. He's ignoring the I love yous. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. Dude, what's with that look, dude? Well, he looks like he's sleeping. <laughs> They're looking at him, man. They know he's in. He's looking at them all. He's signaling them with his eyes. Look at that. They're like, hell oh, yeah. Cool. 
ominous music. I like it. Dude, that's a sick ominous beat. Whoa. Oh. Man, that's a long trench coat. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> His pants is baggy too. <laughs> the finest taxi service was not your normal taxi service. Everything doesn't fit him. It was a ring of corrupt cops get driving smugglers and drug dealers all over the city. Oh. What? Ever since then, internal affairs have been waiting to catch them in the act. And that's where we came in. A little fuck you from the five of us to the NYPD. Nice. Oh! oh shit. Don't move, you fucker! Drop it! Hammer, fucker! Drop the fucking guy! Wait, a hammer? A sledgehammer? Is that gasoline too? Watch your glass! Fucking move, motherfucker! You wanna fuck shot shampoo, chubby? Shut up! Oh, oh, oh. Hurry up! Come on! Now the money. There's no money. Don't, don't, Give me the money right me. now, motherfucker. There's no fucking money. Give me the money! Give me the fucking money! Do people know who the fuck I am? Fuck! What are you doing now, jerk off? Ooh. Oh, man. Wait. They're gonna set fire to the car anyways? Yep. They screwed the piggies. Yeah, man, they kind of deserved it. Yeah, man. They messed with the wrong guys. There's more here than I thought. When's the feds come? Redfoot never comes to see me. I always go to see him. In California? Ooh. Okay. They got quite the haul. Nice, nice. Oh, he just left his girl without saying anything. Ooh, not a good idea. I'm gonna miss the plane. She'll understand. No, she won't. No, she will not. She is not gonna take it well. Just randomly leaving your loved one out of nowhere is uh, never a good thing. Especially with the no explanation, you just kind of like disappear. That's kind of weird. Yeah. Jeff, you want to wait outside? You guys wanted to know what happened after the lineup, I'm telling you. Come on, Verbal. You expect me to believe that he retired for a woman? I've been investigating him for the past three years. The yeah. guy I know That's is a long. blooded bastard. IAD indicted him on three counts of murder before he was kicked off the force. When they finally did nail him for fraud, he spent five years in Sing Sing. He killed three prisoners inside. Damn. Us, Holy hell. I can't prove this. Did you know that? He died in a fire two years ago during an investigation into the murder of a witness who was going to testify against him. Two people saw Dean Keaton walk into a warehouse he owned just before it blew up. Within three months of the explosion, the two witnesses, they were dead. One killed himself in his car. The other fell down an open elevator shaft. Very unlucky. I yeah. would say it sounds like a mistake. Very unlucky. He was dead just long enough for the murder rap to blow over. I don't know about that. But you say you saw Keaton die. I think you're covering his ass and he's still out there somewhere. My bet is he's using you because you're stupid and you think he's your friend. You tell me he's dead, so be it. Ooh, damn. damn this I want to be ass. sure he's dead before I go back to New York. What did you leave out of that testimony? I could be on the phone to Ruby Deemer in 10 minutes. The DA gave me immunity. Not from me. You get no immunity from me, you piece of shit. There was a lawyer. Kobayashi. Is he the one that killed Keaton? No. But I'm sure Keaton is dead. Redfoot, Dean Keaton, Todd Hockney, and Verbal Kent. Verbal. Man with the plan, huh? You guys interested in any more work? I got a ton of work and I don't have any good people. Not like you guys. What's the job? This is jeweler out of Texas named Saul. Anyway, the word is, he carries around a lot of cash. I keep the merchandise, you keep the green. Keaton fought it as best he could, but a man can't change what he is. He can convince anyone he's someone else, but never himself. It took one day with McManus nagging, and we went back to work. Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot of people are just hooked on what doing this kind of stuff, man. Well, I mean, they get a lot of money for, like... And the adrenaline. One job. Yeah. It's true. Give me the fucking case. Oh. Just give him the case, dude. Come on. Come on. 
Just give the case, you idiot. Oh! That was not the move, man. No. They're gonna have to shoot someone. Not just that, you gotta leave the alarms on. Ooh! They're gone. Oh, dude, they got it on the truck, though. I'll just hand over the case. Hand over the fucking case. Why is he not handing it over? Like, you're fucked. Just give him the case. He knows he won't kill him. Oh, but he will. That's the thing. What an idiot. Oh, my God. Damn. He had to cover from him. He oh. knew he wasn't going to do it. Poor bootleg Hagrid, man. He's gone. Bootleg Hagrid! That's him, man. Bootleg Hagrid is dead. Oh, God. <laughs> you know what? He kind of did look like him. Yeah, just without the bigger oh. beard, right? That's why he's bootleg Hagrid. Look at him. Oh. R.I.P., man. Yeah. Yeah, he, uh, he got a fast way to Hogwarts right there. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. The merchandise. They got some powdered sugar. Powdered sugar? Could it be flour though? No, they yeah, they're making some good donuts. It's like vanilla cake mix. Hey. Uh oh, he's got a lot more people Ooh, this time. 5v5, let's go. What am I supposed to do with that? I don't know, feed it to the gimp. What do you mean you shit. don't know? Shut up. I don't know. I got thrown this job by some lawyer. Yeah? Too. He's a middleman for somebody, okay? We want to meet him, okay? That's funny. Call me last night, he says he wants to meet you guys. Okay. Okay, that's uh, nerve-wracking. One more thing, tough guy. Any more surprises, and I'm gonna kill you. Get the fuck off my fuck. dick. What? No. No. Put a leash on that puppy. Oh, no. You have a sweet night, ladies. I've been in L.A. County talking to a guy they pulled out of a drain pipe in San Pedro yesterday after the shootout. He says it was definitely not a dope deal. But the 91 Yeah, million. we know. Our man says no way on the dope. This Hungarian tells me the whole bunch was pulling stumps for Turkey the next day. They had no time to negotiate that kind of product and no means to move it. You mentioned Kaiser Sose. Who? Who's Kaiser Sose? Oh, fuck. We've been going over this oh, for man. an hour and a half. <laughs> that reaction said everything. What we need to do is find Redfoot. This defense I recognize from his mug shots, as well as Mr. McManus. I am Mr. Kobayashi. I have been asked by my employer to bring a proposal to you gentlemen what do you want my employer requires your services gentlemen one job he does not expect all of you to live but those of you who do will have 91 million dollars to divide between you in any way oh people. damn i work for kaiser soze uh oh Ooh. who's kaiser soze judging by the sudden change in mood mr kint i feel sure the rest of your associates can tell you i come with an offer directly from mr soze why are you telling us? Because you have stolen from Mr. Soze, Mr. Fenster. All of you. That you did not know you stole from him is the only reason you are still alive. He feels you owe him. He will repay your debt. These Argentinians are negotiating the sale of $91 million in cocaine in three days' time. Ooh, the damn. This purchase will revitalize the diminishing strength of their organization, Mr. Soze would like you to stop the deal. Mr. Soze would like you to get to the boat and destroy the cocaine on board. And oh, then you will be free the boat. of your obligations oh. to Mr. Soze. So I'm wondering if the guy at the end that killed him, one in the beginning of the movie, is one of these five guys. It's possible, very possible. You know, for the, all that money. They're all not that buddy-buddy with each other, you know? Yep. Who was Kaiser Soze? He's supposed to be Turkish. Nobody ever believed he was real. Nobody ever knew him or saw anybody that ever worked directly for him. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Hmm. One story, the guys, there was a gang of Hungarians that wanted their own mob. They come into power and then they come after Soze. He was small time then, just running dope, they say. They come to his home in the afternoon. They find his wife and kids in the house and decide to wait for Soze. Why would you do that? Oh my god, no. Comes home to find his wife raped and children screaming. So they let him know they meant business. <laughs> then he showed these men of will what will really was. He would rather
rather see his family dead. He lets the last Hungarian go. He waits until his wife and kids are in the ground, and then he goes after the rest of the mob. He kills their kids, he kills their wives, he kills their parents and their parents' friends. Oh my god! Wow. What an insane story, dude. Holy hell. Dude, the guy sounds like... <laughs> Like, the, a top contender for people you don't want to fuck with. <laughs> no! That's it, dude. If I told you the Loch Ness Monster hired me to hit the harbor, what would you say? <laughs> <laughs> there really is a Kaiser Sosa. He's going to come looking for you. Where's your head, Agent Cuyan? Where do you think the pressure's coming from? Kaiser Sosa, or whatever you want to call him, he knows where I am right now. You think you can catch Kaiser Sosa? You think a guy like that comes this close to getting caught and sticks his head out? If he comes up for anything, it'll be to get rid of me that my guess is you'll never hear from him again oh damn oh all right let's get the fuck out of here damn man come on dude might as well just help yeah you might as well at that point Woo, there's a lot of boys there God damn! So it's just four up against all these guys. I think, so. I think there was like 27 or two. When they yeah, they found the 27 early. dead, but they said there was more washing up. Possibly, I think. I don't know. You kids ready? I would be if I didn't have to stop and answer you. I'm ready. But Manus, you better be Come on, dude. Damn, that's a nice place. I'm ready. He's just rolling up. Just a casual stroll through the neighborhood, man. Oh, is he just gonna open up on them? <laughs> Oswald was a fag. What? what? Oh, wait, what? <laughs> what? Wait, that was wait. what? That was like out of nowhere. What? what? Was that like a diss to Harvey Lee Oswald? <laughs> I don't think so. But why? That I know so it's random sniper and stuff, but come on, dude. What? <laughs> the? That was so weird. Oh man. I'm the farmy. Shot some guys. But a boom, but a bing bang. Oh! Oh damn! Dude, that's a nice looking explosion. Whoa! Yep, there he is. Oh! Damn, man, that worked really well. Nice. Oh! Ooh. Oh, damn, he's actually pretty fast on that. Wow! Yeah, that was kind of surprising. He's like a spider monkey! Uh, something's not right. It's way too easy. Yeah, things are way too quiet after everyone getting gunned down outside. Yeah. I mean, they're doing extremely well, though. <laughs> God damn, that oh, poor, man, poor stupid. guy. Stupid! Oh my God, dude. <gasps> oh. Whoa, why it's so bright? Damn! Got distracted. And then I thought about Keaton and it looked like he might pull it off. God damn. That's not exactly like a bullet shot. Yeah. Jeez. I'll tell you what I know. There was no dope on that boat. Damn. Actually smart to duck in and come in low, because a lot of people would expect you to come up from the top. Yep. Who's this guy? Just a guy trying to get some shut eye. That's all. Or he's gonna have permanent shut eye soon. But... I was just gonna say that. Yeah, but I mean, hey man. At least his problem solved. I'm telling you it's Kaiser Sozi! 
this is either one big boat or these people are just taking their time. Do you know how awkward that would have been if they shot one another? Oh, yeah. You heard me, you dumb fuck. There's no cop. What the fuck? I made mean, up another little shit. I made mean, no fucking coke. It's so bizarre. What's the purpose of all this? Is so, it just to screw them all and take them all out? Probably have them all in one place. Oh. Uh oh. Right. Bye bye. Sleepy time. God damn. So night, maybe night. it was a ploy just to get in and kill that one guy, maybe? I genuinely have no idea what it is. Or maybe it was just a, like multiple. Bur like one stone and multiple birds take those guys out take him out take the hungarians out just take them all out in one clean sweep and he couldn't take out the hungarians alone that's true and that's... he got these guys to go and do it first very true strangest thing what Ooh. What was that? Oh, he found it. I think that he had like a knife or something in the back of his neck. Now, were you saying you saw Kaiser Sosa? You told the DA you didn't know who it was. I know there was dope on that boat. Stop stalling, Verbal. Stop you no, know hey, what I'm getting at. I got immunity. I don't have to take that shit. You know, you know what? You know what I'm getting at, Verbal. Yes, don't you know do. What you're about. The truth. Try to tell me you saw someone kill Keaton. About. You know. did see Keaton get shot. I swear to you. Then why didn't you help him? You had a gun. Why didn't you help him? He was your friend. Freedom. I knew it was Kaiser Soze. With Keaton. It was Kaiser Soze, Agent Kuyan. I mean the devil himself. How do you shoot the devil in the back? What if you miss? It's a good point. He had like an MP5, one-handed. You know, right. not a good grip. Mm -hmm. Distance as well. You're probably not going to hit him. Who is it? I'm trying to get a good look. Like, I could kind of see the face, but I can't. Yeah, Keaton's definitely dead, man. Pew, pew, pew. It's pew, pewed, and then he gets burned. Come on, give us the reveal. All right. We've gone full circle. All right. I threw a Marquez. Ever hear of him? What? No. He was a stool pigeon for the Justice Department. He swore out a statement to federal marshals saying that he had seen and could positively identify one Kaiser Sose. His own people were selling him to a gang of Hungarians. The money wasn't there for dope. The Hungarians were going to buy the one guy that could incriminate Kaiser Sose. There were no drugs on that boat. It was a hit. So Sose put some thieves to it. Men he knew we could march into certain death. You're saying Sose sent us to kill someone? I'm saying Keaton did. Verbal, he left you behind for a reason. If you all knew that Sose could find you anywhere, why did he give you the money to run? He could have used you on the boat. Keaton was Kaiser Sose. No. The kind of man who can wrangle the wills of men like Hockney and McManus. He is of contacts in NYPD. The kind of man who could have killed Edie Finneran. It's found yesterday at a hotel in Pennsylvania. Shot twice in the head. Oh my god, no way. You had to hide when you first heard the police cause. You said you heard the shot before the fire. He programmed you to tell us just what he wanted. Really? He knew we were close. You said it yourself. Why not Fester or McManus or Hockney? Why me? I'm stupid. I'm a cripple. Why me? Because you're stupid. Because you're weaker than them. <laughs> Kaiser Sose is a shield. Or like you said, a spook story. Hmm. But I know Keaton. Is it for real, for real? Someone for some reason, I feel like it's not him still. But I'm not a rat, Agent Kuvian. Is it really Keaton? Like, I can't believe it for some reason. For, I just, I feel like it can't be. Kaiser Sose or no Kaiser Sose. If Keaton is alive, he's not coming up again. I'll find him. 
I think it could like I personally thought it was a uh, verbal. Same here. And he's realizing it right now. There's one part specifically that made me think it was him. Look. It a hundred percent is verbal. Tell me every you know, last when I was in that barbershop quartet in Skokie, Illinois. Where's your head, Agent Kuyan? Some guy in California, his name is Redfoot. A gift from Mr. Sose. Talk to me, verbal. What about Red? Big, fat guy. I mean, like, orca fat. Who's a lawyer? Kind of Mid the legends of Kobayashi. So I've never seen him again. So back when I was picking beans in Guatemala, we used to make fresh coffee. I know you bought a prince. Were we right? What about a prince? 100%. Your story? There was a lawyer. What lawyer? I work for Kaiser Sose. What lawyer? Convince me. Convince me. Convince me. That was so clever. Wow! Yeah, that was a very, uh... A very uh, clever uh, review. Oh my god. You know, you know oh my yep. god. Knew it! I, I had a feeling it was an act a long time ago. I did too, and there was one point that made me really think about it, like... Oh man! <laughs> No, so he close, just man. missed so him. So close. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Wow, that's amazing. And like that, he's gone. That's such a good Ooh. part to end it on. Oh my god. Ah oh, man. Ooh, that was a good movie, dude. It like really I was. actually was questioning it for so long. We just finished watching The Usual Suspects, and man, what a what a great movie, dude! Very, very, a very slow beginning, but when it starts to pick up, it mm. picks up, and it just mm. keeps getting better and better the, and better. The cast, though, was just Ooh. perfect. Oh Ooh. my god, damn, they were good. Just amazing actors. They really were just oh, but I I really loved how it all and there was one or I would say probably two points where I did guessed. It was verbal. The one point was when, um, in the story that he was telling, that was obviously all nonsense. Apparent, yeah. like we learned, he was just looking at things around the room and connecting the dots. Yeah. But um, there was uh, a part where Kobayashi tells them, you know, taking this job, some of you are just not going to make it, and whoever does make it will get the money, right? So. That's what Kobayashi told him. But in the car before they do the job, Verbal says, "This is a, this is a, um, we'll, none of us are going to survive this." Yep. That's one thing that really contradicts what Kobayashi said. Because Kobayashi says, "Oh, you know, not all of you, but whoever do." Like he made it sound like it was very possible and probable that you can survive it. But then Verbal was so guaranteed dead straight, no one was going to live. Yep. That's what sold me on it. And I, when thinking, I was like, oh, damn. And especially the perspective where he says, oh, I, I saw him die. He was so certain he died. But from his position, you could tell, oh, you can't see anything. And it made me think, like, wait a second, buddy. You were very positive. The only way you would know for sure from that position, if you were the guy that did the job that killed him, Keaton. But, man, it was still, it was really great. It wasn't until near the end that I, I, I started, like, my right. brain started going, like, puzzle pieces, putting them together. Right. I had a feeling as soon as all five of them were in the billiard room. The billiard room? Yep, I, I had a feeling. I, I even said it. It's one of them. Yeah, of course. And but... I had a feeling it was him. Why he was the weakest looking one. Mm-hmm. Because, and not just that. And, okay, so I knew. I knew it because he was the brains of the operation when they did the whole thing with the cops. Yeah, that's true, He too. was the brains, right? Mm-hmm. If, if anybody in that room would be smart enough to pull that off, it would be him because he's the brains of the operation. And there was two points near the end that he even admitted it. Like, he gave himself away. That I, fe I felt like he gave himself away. Mm. First of all, he said it was all Keaton with the with the plan with the, uh, the the cops and the cars. He was the brains behind the operation. Sure, Keaton gave the idea, but he was the whole entire brains. And then he starts to say, I'm a stupid cripple. As soon as he said those words, 100% it was him. You know what it reminded me of? Hmm. It's a very weird, like, comparison. I think you might find it weird, but I think it works. It reminded me of when Luke first found Yoda. Yoda pretend to be batshit insane, an idiot, like this stupid creature and stuff. And it wasn't until time slowly, slowly revealed their true 
like form. Yeah. They, they, they you always know? want to portray themselves as someone weak, and yep. vulnerable, <clears throat> weak, and that's, vulnerable. And that's what he did. Yeah, I had, that's why I had a feeling as soon as the billiard room. I had a feeling it was him one hundred percent. He wanted to get rid of them all. That was all he wanted. It to took do. me a uh, far longer because I needed more parts, and it just it, it all it, it really came together really well, man. Like it was just oh the ending. As soon as because like, like right when they tell you it's Keaton for some reason, man, it's it just, just like, doesn't feel real. It it not real. It doesn't feel correct because the thing is, you knew for a fact he loved Edie. Well, yeah, because he stopped. He didn't kill Ko uh, Kobayashi. He stopped it. He went and let Kobayashi go into the meeting. That was the first proof. If he actually did it. not care about Edie, he would have never let Kobayashi and that story survive. That was a big contradiction. 100%. Because they also gave the... When they were talking about Soze, right? They are talking about his lore, right? He shot his family in the head. He even shot his family. He didn't care if they died. Mm -hmm. So why would he care if Edie died? Bingo. Bam! It was a lot of contradiction there where it's just like, no, no way it could be Keaton. Oh, God, no. no. But I had 100%. 100% it was him. Like, I knew it as soon as that billiard room, for some reason, it, it just, like, you know what the thing is? Mm -hmm. He felt too weak to be a part of them. Yeah. Physically. Why would you even need him there? Why would he actually be on the job sites? That's my question as well. If he's just mainly the brains of the operation, why would he need to be there? He's so, like, no, honestly, he's more dead weight than anything else. He can't even fire the gun properly. But he was always there. But he was always there. He... Uh, and it made more sense that he was lying about the story because it didn't make much sense that he would have just stayed back there the whole time and do nothing. But, right. But, making, but then when you think of it as a lie and you realize he was following them around and hunting them down to finish them off, yep. it, it, it all comes together that he lied about a lot of it. It was just a really good movie. I really enjoyed that. Oh, yeah. I, I oh, oh, the, oh, God. But, like, the best part is, like, that was probably one of the best reveals for like a twist or whatnot Dude, sadly i figured it out way earlier than, pretty early but i just love when the guy like drops the mug and you start see yeah. all the connections the, of the, it, it, the oh con my god the, that was so well the made. connections were very smart oh but the thing was is like even people are were uh even in our sixth sense video a lot of people are like oh you caught on quick the reason why i think we catch on quick is because like a lot of movies have tried the same formulas time and time again, but never executed it well. Yes. So now you kind of like our brains are conditioned. Like for me, person who's seen, I've seen a lot of movies. You know, not good ones apparently. I've missed no, a lot of these. Seen ones. other movies that attempt the attempt these ideas poorly. Yes. So it has my. I'm very. I don't know. I find myself easier to kind of like pick it up here and there. Yeah. Certain aspects of it. Exactly. There's been like this isn't the only movie with a Could twist. you imagine when this came out in 1995 and like Oh, dude, people You're in the theater. Oh, you're just dude. like everyone in the theater was probably like their brains were shitting themselves, <laughs> man, all right? They were losing like what oh, the Oh, man, dude. I can't imagine that, dude. But it's just like what people have to realize is that twists and turns and whatnot like uh, for like for some people it's not obvious for other people they're gonna catch on quicker dude we've seen movies before i've se we've seen twists and turns before right it, we, we've seen it all before it's just like you could kind of pick up on it you know the kind of tropes that they go for and what yeah right? because, that's the thing. because this movie i guarantee you inspired more people to take on twists and turns greatest twist in all of cinema history what is it luke i am your father oh Boom! god everyone in the theater going ape man they're actually becoming like freaking apes going just ape and crazy in the theater man. dude i can't imagine how insane that, that would have been, been my oh but my ever since god then, the trope of the twist is just something that's uh, not even just since then i guarantee you twists have been turning been, been like stories with twists have been done before but they started to become more popularized right mm. so it's just like at some point you watch enough movies you can kind of just like you know put the pieces together on your own like, it's not rocket science. Some people, maybe they can't do it. Other people can. It's just how it is. Yeah, it but, depends on how much you're, like, invested. I was really invested in this one. Like, I was actually really... That's the thing, because I wanted to know who it was. That, that's right. Like, I was actually... And I was dead set. It was one of those fuckers, man. I knew it. Okay? No, the thing is, we were very quiet for a lot of this movie. And, it, like, a lot, a lot of the time, I was just really thinking, who is it? It's like, yes. I kept thinking. I'm, I, kept, I'm observing I kept putting them. the dots together, who it could be. And then, it was just like, as soon as it was pinned on Keaton... Oh, it's just too It's good just to like, I can't believe that. Too I said, good. if everyone else is dead and Keaton is dead, like, dude, it's 
got to be verbal. Yeah, it's too good to be true. Anyways, we've been going on too long. It's almost I eight know, minutes. I, but the, the, dude, this oh, movie dude. just has so much that you I know. talk about. I know. Right? It's an amazing movie. I really like this movie. And like I said, if from everything, the story was great. The twist and reveal was just mwah, it was, perfect. The thing is, it was oh my executed God. so properly. And the like, acting. So damn good. Everything about this movie, I just, I really enjoyed. So anyways, guys, thank you, Patreon, for picking The Usual Suspects. We loved it. why it won with a landslide. Yeah, it makes it did. sense. I kind of get it. It was a very good movie. But uh, this is it. We're going to be going now. We will be uh, going back to our... Uh, what do we do? I don't know. Um, We're going to be doing stuff, all right? We don't know what we do. We'll I honestly don't know. We're going to figure it out as we go. It's like, it's almost 12 o'clock at night. We yeah. tired. We'll probably sleep. Probably. But I can't make any promises. You know, I'm a little wild. Not really. But anyways, bye, guys. Bye.